Alright boys and girls, here we are. Plum Wimbish. Custom ordered from Spectre. Take a good look. Yes, it's got fingerprints on it because I've been goofing. As you can see, nice grain. I'm going to take my hand off here. You can see all the way up. And then we'll do an about face. And you can see what it says there. Doug Wimbish. So this is the base with the 1.5 nut. And I can tell you, as you can see through the neck here, real nice. They did a great job with this thing. Very similar yet different to the other Wimbish that I have sitting over there. Uh, neck's a little more C-shaped on this one, uh, but it's cool. And uh, I went ahead and set it up. It came to me with the Adarios, which is awesome, because then I don't have to change them. Um, I did a setup on the bridge, flatten the neck out as flat as it'll go. It is literally straight as a board. So anyway, like I normally have to say when I deal with these things, again, this is all reasonably flat. I'm using the uh, Trace Elliott 210 combo once again, all flat EQ. So let's go through the paces here. So front pick up the P bass. Okay, the P bass pick up again. If I go through here and just add, if I turn the bass up, it's killer. Same with the treble. Okay. Well, let's go back now. The jazz bass pick up. Nice bark. Okay. So just to give you some ideas, um, I ordered this thing back in April, and uh, I've been waiting for it. It came in today, and uh, you cannot go wrong with a Wimbish neck because of how thin it is. If you're a jazz bass fan, if you like the skinny necks, this is the deal right here. Nice and even. All the way across the board, nice and even. Make all these weird chords. You can hear I'm getting a little fret buzz because I have this laying flat. These strings are almost on the frets because that's the way it works. I believe these are 40 to 95s. I know they're Diodarios because, once again, you've got colors. So, these are not the Spectre strings. Apparently, those come with the U.S. model since this one's a Euro. These must have been put on before they shipped it. Uh, came in the Spectre box with a tag that said it was inspected, so they set it up into the whole nine. Anyway, uh, if you have questions on this one, feel free to ask. We're going to put it through the paces. I may run it on a session this week and see how it does. I won't take the other ones with me. We'll just run it and see. Hope you all are well. Enjoy. Talk to you soon. Have fun.